Okay, now that we have worked with um, solving proportions, now we're going to apply that um, to some, you know, real world type problems, word problems. So the key here in doing these is to remember that the setup is the most important part. So here we have a problem that says Caroline can sketch four cartoon strips in five hours. How long will it take her to sketch 18 strips? Okay, so we need to think about what are they comparing here. They're comparing how many strips that she can do to the number of hours that it takes to do it. So if I were going to write that out as a comparison or as a ratio, that would be cartoon strips compared to hours. So what we're going to do is I like to write my units first. So as long as I keep this in the same proper order, cartoon strips compared to hours equals cartoon strips compared to hours, then we won't set it up incorrectly. Okay, so let's go back now, now that we know um, how we're setting it up, and let's go ahead and fill in our numbers says that she can do four cartoon strips in five hours. So our first ratio, our rate would be four cartoon strips compared to five hours. Now we want to keep that in the same proportion, but we want to figure out how long will it take her to sketch 18 strips. So we know that she's doing eight strips. The number of hours though is what we don't know. How long? That's our actual question. So that's what we want to let be our unknown. I want to find this. Now once we have this set up, now we can use our cross product technique to help us solve it. So we're going to ignore now our units and just say 4 times x is supposed to equal 5 times 18 using that cross product. And then let's simplify what we can. So this would be 4 times x equals 5 times 18 would be 90. Now, rather than multiply to go forward, instead of saying 4 times what gives me 90, we could go backwards doing the division to solve it. So that would be 90 divided by 4 equals what number? So 90 divided by 4 is actually 22.5. So that's telling us that it's going to take her 22.5 hours in order to do those 18 cartoon strips, keeping in the same proportion um, as doing four strips in five hours. Now remember, whenever we get to this point here, this 4 times x equals 90, we could also do this like a um, an algebra problem. And to get the x alone, instead of multiplying by 4, we could divide both sides by 4. That way it would cancel out. And now we would have x equals 90 divided by 4, which is 22.5. Either way, you will get the exact same answer. As we move forward, I'm going to really focus on doing our problems using this algebraic type approach.